And we're back. Yay. I wasn't hey. crying just then. There was all these onions. You were really attached to that banker, weren't you? All my all my players are so mean to my NPCs. <laughs> he started I, it. I, I had again, three lines of notes about him, all for naught. <laughs> and he, again called Blades he, about the uh, Blades in the Dark. Um, what are the odds? He, he started it. <laughs> I feel like it was a completely appropriate response. <laughs> I don't think he, he started. He the, was interested in natural the, philosophy and everything. He had hopes and dreams and okay. <clears throat> I don't know if he started a fight to the death. Yeah. Listen, that was I one mean, of his really. He expected he had a if, fight. The, if there was going to be a fight, the way he expected that to end was him saying, "Well, I never." <laughs> right. Mark, <laughs> I, Mark, I said good day. Mark, if there's any blood at all, I mop it up. And I enjoy it. <laughs> if it makes you feel any better, one of the guys, one of the items on the guy's bucket list was to get in a, a fist fight. <laughs> right. <laughs> nice. Well, he never, well, he never did. Yeah. Really well, there were fists involved. Yeah, sure. Fight. Yeah, if there's blood on this floor, yeah, yeah, they weren't his. But... Nice there's not any blood on the floor. All right. So. No, you just yes. the life out of no. You still need to turn in your paperwork if you actually want to get a loan. <laughs> yes. We'll have to do that. So you got to spend them a good story at the bank. First to dusk of all bank and trust. Well, we set it up, so... No, I mean, they are expecting... It should be doable. Well, okay, that's the thing. They're not expecting it because they would assume that he would have it. Right. But... You know, with a suitable explanation, they'd be like, oh, okay. Right. Let's see if we can <laughs> give them a suitable explanation. So, who's going to give that suitable explanation? How about our liar? <laughs> the same one who's been talking the whole time seems like a good person for that. <laughs> and what is he going to say? Just That's that. a good question. At the last moment, what Mr. Wilcott had, or uh, what was it, V.C. Wilcott? V.C. Wilcott. V. C. Constant Wilcott Pritchard? No. Oh. <laughs> had to, like, leave for the last 15 minutes because of an emergency with his fainting goat. Make sure to put that in there. They would believe that about a noble. His name is Arturo. And I had to cut in. <laughs> we said we would get the paperwork back in the morning with his actual signatures on it. And you're just taking up like yourself because uh, V.C. Wilcott, I don't know, is out in the countryside. I don't deliver paperwork. And we're keeping Hamish far away from people. Mm hmm But what I'm wondering is, is that going to explain away why the banker signed it before V.C. Wilcott did? Because he just signed it. He was going to get it to later. He'd already approved it. <clears throat> Yeah, there's not really notaries right. this time period. The okay. deal had been approved. It was it's, fine. Um, yeah, I mean, it's based on the word of the, the banker, and you've got his signature, so. Okay. Well, I will go to the uh, first dust ball bank and trust. And... It's just, you know, suspicious that he also died after visiting you, and. Well, I, I know nothing about that. I'm dropping these off uh, well, he died in a car. with his assistant so that. You know, he can give them to him. Right, you need to look okay. properly horrified when you find out he's dead. He, he, died, exactly. died in a car, he died in a car accident far from us. What? Right. what? I practiced my horrified face. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, you know, can you, can you give her a good enough horrified face or not? <laughs> <laughs> but I saw the man we were sharing a was... scotch. Oh! Make, make sure to, to ask, oh, Mom, how about his family? Where can we send flowers? Cover your mouth with the monogrammed handkerchief. I mean, you know the one you stole from him. I mean, no, not the one you stole from him. <laughs> Bad idea. So, Sway, I'm thinking? No, that one's in my falcon's nest. Nice. Um, and we'll say... Controlled? Standard? Because really the big consequence here would be just be, yeah, they don't accept your paperwork. Right. 
but they're not going to like arrest you or anything. I probably wouldn't use transpowder for that, so I'm just going to go ahead without it. You said controlled what? Controlled um, standard? Yeah. Yeah. Indubitably. Wow. You succeeded. It's sketchy. Yeah. Did you okay. It's a success. Not the best of successes, but a success nonetheless. Actually, it's not uncontrolled. It's you hesitate. Well, I'm just so uh, distraught over hearing the news of uh, our banker friend's death. Yeah, okay. So she's like, well, you know, since... I mean, yes, of course, it was. It, it's a horrible tragedy and all. Um... But because of his death, we're, we're going to have to probably have a different banker take over his caseload. And um, so they'll, we'll probably need to send someone else out just to, just to look over your paperwork again and make sure everything's right. I mean, you, you understand, it's just a formality because he wasn't able to write up the report and everything. And so, you know, we just don't know how things stand. Mr. Wilcott's very busy, but um, I'll see if we can arrange something with the secretary. Okay. Um, so your option there is you can actually resist that. For doing that. Or you can um, just try a different approach to get the paperwork faster. Um, if you can think of one. Resist is probably pretty decent. Actually, I don't think it is. <laughs> is it not? Is that his only like? Uh, um, eh, it's not terrible. What uh, what would I roll to resist that? Um, Browns? you would be rolling your uh, resolve. resolve. Hmm. Sub two. Okay, as a way around it, what if I put these put these What if I wrap the, the paperwork post? in this $50 bill? Would that change? Oh, no. I, I'm thinking put it in the post addressed to uh, Mr. What's-His-Face, Mr. Banker Guy. Care of the bank. <clears throat> so just send it a different way? Yeah. Send it through the post instead of dropping it off. But you've already told her. Yeah, but 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 once she has the actual documents, what's there's she gonna more, do? Also, there's more than one banker. Well, I mean, sure. she'll happily take your documents now. She's just saying they'd have to send out another. Banker. Hmm. Okay, I have saved this plan the best I can. I'm running out of ideas here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to resist. Okay. I mean, uh, you actually... Because it would be incon... You automatically succeed at resisting. It's just how much stress do you take doing it. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, Timothy, just... Uh... You have one option left. You got to silly with her. sir. Resisting is <laughs> yep, the easiest. Yep, seducer. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Boom. Oh, uh, yeah. You take no stress. And he... I explained to her how inconvenient it would be for Mr. Uh, Wilcott. Yes, and, yes. And how lovely her breasts look. Right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I didn't know bankers were allowed to look that beautiful. <laughs> Gosh, the... Sweat stains under your armpits from the sweltering hot office are very. Oh. Yeah, right. <laughs> if you made there that actually other, appealing, there are, then there are other ways we could work. <laughs> more power to here. you, buddy. <laughs> so Surely yeah, no, you impress sort of upon her. You impress upon her how busy Mr. Wilcott is and how upset he would be at having to meet 
with the bank again, and oh, he, he, is would a, be. he is a a fine, upstanding citizen, and very the connected. mayor will hear about Before, this. Right. <laughs> Businessman thing person. Right. Um, and uh, she takes your paperwork and rubber stamps it. Because I, I don't know. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> and there you go. Well, Mission accomplished. <laughs> we have successfully applied for a loan. Woo! <laughs> right. What an exciting adventure. Oh, only in this Mission. world. Uh, is this a <laughs> mission? <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> so let's see what we got here. You're in two rep by default. <laughs> <laughs> we got a loan. <laughs> no, we he he legitimized himself. Yes. Um and that's, I feel like our take... credit score has gone up too. <laughs> <laughs> right. Despite <laughs> Hamish's <laughs> best efforts. <laughs> Listen, I critted. What am I going to do? <laughs> Not attack <her. laughs> uh, It's okay. We got the loan. It's yeah. Fine. It's fine. <laughs> he had it coming. It's fine. So I'm going to say that's actually eight coin. Okay. But... <coughs> You have a patron now, don't you? Yes. yes, we do. Your patron wants paid. So you must pay tier plus one to your patron. How much are the presses going to cost? Also, the presses are going to cost six coins. <laughs> well, that's what this one was for, so. Right, right. So really, you didn't make any money. But we have, but we have printing presses. Right, but you've got printing presses and all that stuff. We made money. We just exchanged it for printing presses. <laughs> right, right. Um, and then let's see about heat. There shouldn't have been any. There shouldn't have been any. Oh, <laughs> uh, we applied for a loan and we got heat. What's that say? <laughs> right. <laughs> In a normal loan application Is process, that, no, heat there's would not, not be burner? a thing. But. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's zero okay, heat. But there, but there was also drugging now, him. Hold on, hold on. And... <laughs> was there, was there a murder though? Like it doesn't look like a murder. Like how's that heat work for that? So it's plus two heat if killing was involved, not if murder was involved. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, and it would be zero heat because it was smooth and quiet, low exposure. You were applying for a loan. I mean, you know. <laughs> right. Um, but you'll just take two heat because of the. Uh, the suspicious circumstances of the death. Okay. We've been handling our heat so nicely. I mean, you're still not terrible, right? You got like three or four? Uh, I just added two, so we have three. Yeah. Um, and then I already did that, so yeah. Did our rep go up? By two. So did that, that it? Just the two? Cost? Yeah, that's it. No, we needed, that... one. we needed three. Oh. Of course we did. I'm sorry, your gang is not going to go up in tier by getting a loan. <laughs> that would have been, that, that, that been great, though. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that's just a <laughs> cheap call right there. No. <laughs> It was alone with a sight of murder. It was the last thing we needed alone. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's like a scavenger yeah. hunt. Just how Stringer Bell gained all that rep when he invested wisely in Baltimore real estate. Right. <laughs> Next, we'll apply for credit cards. <laughs> he also, yeah, yeah. And soon, a library card. Mm hmm. Um, so that was, yeah, your printing presses, which is. Is that what you needed to finish off your? Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Now we have to hire writers, but yeah, we actually have one already. We have a, a real, real... Uh, we have a real writer, and then we need to get some people who will write anything we want. Yep. Okay. So, 
I'll actually just uh, make that a clock, and then just anyone can contribute to it. Okay. As as we go, um, so if somebody wants to add higher writers to the gang to the clock, um, a six. Oh, there. Okay. oh, do you have that on the map? Uh, I have it right now. On the on the gang is fine. Okay. There it is. There it is. Okay. Cool. Wait, where is it? It's on the gang sheet. I see it. Oh, the, they're, they're, the gang sheet oh, clocks are at the bottom. Way down there. Okay. Yeah. 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 I just didn't go far enough. Oh, look, it's full. It's unfull. Okay. All the pie pieces. Wait a second. Wait, All right. wait now, one second. I'll just second. answer some trivia questions, and you can fill that up. I'll take... Oh, my God. Uh, this will be the first downtime actions I do not have to heal. <laughs> I shoot him. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's for tipping over my water clock. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's not fair. I care a lot more about that water clock than I care about the <laughs> him is killing that guy in my foyer. <laughs> You're a monster. <laughs> You're only saying that because he's dragging a fighting goat behind him. <laughs> it's on a little leash. That's right. Passed out. Just slide across the floor. That's why you get in the, the nightingale collars, so they don't choke to death while you're dragging him against it across the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so job. we've got downtime. Yep. Who's starting? Uh, my friend Valeris taught me that. Um, I don't know. Who is starting? Who wants to start downtime? Who knows what they want to do? All right, well, I'm going to roll the gings. Jumped in. Which might not give us anything this time, because the heat is decent. Hmm? <laughs> A coin. Yep. Would that go to our boss? Um, no, it's just jobs that okay. you've got to pay the tithe on that. Um, so... The drug den actually works off heat. So so... Who wants a coin? Um, uh, I can hold one. Is the gang full? The gang is full. Yeah, you don't mind me because I don't actually have any. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You're probably the one making the drugs anyway, so. I am until reasonable. people will buy me some acolytes. Well, the next thing they're going to buy you is a workshop, so. That's true. That that was me complaining about that. Uh, well, I need to get healed. <laughs> well, you know where to go. I will visit Edlin. In his new laboratory. We don't got it yet, do we? It's... No, we, we don't have it yet. No, I That's... meant I meant <clears throat> since you moved locations. Oh, right, right. His was always in the sewerish yeah, area I don't think anyway, so. Yeah. yeah. If I go visit him in the sewer, I guess. Okay. So controlled. Make sure I wear clothes. Yeah. yeah, it's controlled standard. All right, sweet. I'm healed. That's a good roll. Yes, it is. Of course it was. I all didn't I need, need it for me. All I needed was one success. So you know, one tick. Okay. So yeah, that reduces all your harms by one level. Was that it? All you had? Yep, they're both at one level. So okay, cool. I'm I'm actually unharmed. Okay, and uh, Timothy, you're actually you're drunk. Would go away too. Okay. All right. I mean, unless you keep drinking. Nah. 
I'm like not engaging non-stop. the vice this time. Non stop. Although instead of drunk, I'm gonna call that alcohol poisoning because uh, drinking doesn't phase me. Okay. Right. Sure. Um, did you indulge your vice last time, Timothy? I think I did. Last time, I, didn't when you I started, wake up? I didn't have any no, stress. You, so. you, you didn't wake back. up last time, married. Yeah, you yeah you're married. Back. You're a married man. Yeah. Okay. Pretty sure that's what happened last time. Was he woke up married? That was yeah. the time before. That was yeah. when he disappeared. Was the time before? Okay. Well, I, I take that back. He disappeared. Then he got invented. He was married in the, the the venture. So I guess. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, who else knows what they're doing? Um, I do. I guess. Okay. So yeah. first, my two free, long term. I do too. I just didn't want to. I am going to work on my fulmination injection. Okay. I gain two stash. How are you gonna do it? I'm just working on it. It's it's my drugs. I'm making I'm I'm practicing. So you're tinkering? Uh yeah. Okay. So what I'm doing the fulmination injection that, that can um wake people up mm-hmm. and possibly even the dead. Possibly even the dead. So what I'm doing is I'm walking around alleys where people are dying <laughs> or in drug 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 dens, and I'm just watching people. As soon as they stop breathing, I plunge the syringe into them and find the right combination that works compared to what they're dying of. Okay. I anchor, you can try that on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, I can't fix a broken neck. I can replace a broken neck. <laughs> So, uh, you can get two ticks to distribute among any long-term project clocks, which I don't have to roll. So I actually get two ticks, which is all I need for my fulmination ejection. So, okay. all my drugs are now done to what I think I need to animate, reanimate the dead. So that's actually really not even a downtime action then for you. No, that's not. That's my free out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got out just in time. Why? Well, luckily you got a fresh corpse. Oh. Okay. Now with my actual downtime actions. I am going to go to the university and I am going uh-huh. to speak to the undergrads, particularly the poorer ones that can't afford this, and offer them the chance to write for a paper for a small amount of money. To make some extra money as writers. Okay. I like it. Um, that would be dealing with your background. It's people fine. from your background. So that'd be a consort. Yay! Uh, s- control? Yeah, yeah, it's control standard. <clears throat> Anything on that? I don't remember what it is. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. one. Yeah, it's not great. It's one. It's one. I gave us a one. Were you marking Shane or you want me to? Uh, I can. Okay. It's a start. It is. Timothy, what about you? I got one more action. Oh, look. Yeah, I, 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 know. I, I know what you're doing. I, I, I realized it. Sorry. I, I stopped after one, two. <laughs> I, I can um, count to two. Four times. Hmm. Um, I'm going to go to uh, the leaky bucket. And uh, instead of entertaining everybody this time, I'm going to uh, listen to to their stories and see if I can uh, come up with anything that would uh, fit a paper. Okay. Entertaining so, anecdotes. Okay. So you're also um, working on the clock? Working on that clock? Yep. All right. Mm-hmm. So, um, consort, I guess. What is that? The magazine that just has goofy stories in it. The New York Times. No, no, no. The the one that's the magazine. It, it tells you know the comedy section, and they're not funny. Is this, in. Is this uh, risky? Huh? What's the position on this? Reader's Digest highlights yeah. for children. Reader's Digest. We're, we're getting. We're making Reader's Digest. What's the um, position? It's going to be controlled standard. 
Okay. The New Yorker. That's two, right? Um, uh, yeah, that's the next tier up, which is two. We're halfway there. We're halfway there. Uh, Hamish, I, I'm gonna do it too, but I'm what I'm doing is getting together the um, street urchin network. Okay. You know, for the reporters to have sources. Okay. Um, when I'm using my command, because I'm just, you know. You're organizing but, them. Um, hey, your urchins in this area, you work for me now. <laughs> I come back here next week, and you don't have right. information for me. Right. Hey, look, right. We, have a, we, have a, we have a bakery. They will <laughs> right. work for us. I We've also don't... got informants. Listen, I don't know what listen, you mean. I am not hoppers. making late. Oh. All the little hoppers, they work for me. Okay. Gonna go get yourself some hoppers, huh? Yep. Um, and you said command, so control standard? Five. That's a good one. It's two. Yeah, it's just two. The one two um, someone could spend one gold and finish that off. I'll do it. If they right. like. I'll do it. There you go. Okay. It is done. It is accomplished. Oh. Now, what does that give you? The it gives us writers and a uh, product to push out on the street. Right. But we're actually doing... What was the thing you were trying to get from all of this? Uh, we're going to war with the uh, ink rigs. Right. That's basically what this is all about. All right. Was, so was, I think that's enough to get your paper off the ground and out on the streets. How do you get rid of a clock again? You just have to remove its name. That's what I ended up doing. So what's your paper called? Oh, you can click that little unlock symbol. Like that. Yep, I just did it. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> That is a good question. What is the paper's name? And what's your uh, what's your masthead? And uh, what's your what's your general modus operandi? What is the yeah. actual paper called? The Muckrick's paper. The Anchorakes. I don't actually know. I don't think there is. I'll just say it's the Duskfall Chronicle. <laughs> I was going to go with the Duskfall Eagle and uh, have uh, Vaughn's Eagle as the mascot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm good with that. I mean, it is a falcon. But. Falcon, I'm sorry. I'm fine with that. Let's write that down on the, on the crew sheet. We also need a name for our publishing house. So is it um, V.C. Wilcott Publishing? V.C. Wilcott. V.C.W.? V.C. <laughs> I thought your last name was Wincott. I hope Wilcott. not. I bet it's Wilcott, Wilcott up on the... Is it Wincott or Wilcott? It's Wilcott. All the bank papers say Wilcott. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> My brother's Michael. All right. All right, so VC Wilcott Publishing. Publishing. Okay. There. We are not only getting what we need done, we're trying to give you an actual money making background. Don't say right. I don't do anything for you. Now I oh, no, expect I love you to publish my theses so, on reanimating the dead. So no, Edlin, Ed, Edlin has risen like quite a bit in in Vaughn's esteem in the last like couple sessions. M M Mark, all yeah. of that was to gain lookouts, one dice on survey, or hunt on your turf. Okay. Yep. Like that. That's what we were doing. Right. Right. So our lookouts are our oh, paper. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yep. 
I was going to say, I thought it was one of your turf things, but I couldn't remember which one. I yeah. just marked it. Yes. Yeah. So mark that. And then, yes. Okay. No, I hunt really well on my turf. <laughs> really, really well. So um, you've got a paper putting stuff out now. Yep. How's that going to work? I mean, as far as like going to war with the ink rig, so you're just going to publish um, the opposite articles that they do or the opposite opinion pieces that they do or <laughs> always. It's a low. We, we need them to be not as valuable, not as essential. Right. We can publish some of the same things, but, um, you know, where some of their stories just forgot certain important information that we made up. Need to weaken their <laughs> their effect. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> um, Bond. Yes. How about your uh, other downtime action? What do you? What um. Do you so I am going to go since the clock did get finished already. Um. I need to do a couple things actually. Uh, quick oh, sidebar. No, no, my stress is my stress is okay actually. My stress quick is okay. sidebar. What do we want to focus on next to gather? To in gather? Our, for our turf. For our... Oh, uh, Secret Passages. I thought was oh, okay. like the long-term idea. Yeah. So, Timothy, do you want the tavern? Or Pathways. Yeah, I mean... Um, I'd rather have the... Um... Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm going to go with the Pathways also. So, you know, Gambling Den and Covert Drops both look good too, honestly. But... Yeah, they do. I they look really good. I think all eventually. The Secret Pathways is not, like, most of the time we use stealth plans. Not always, obviously. But I would also like to unlock Mastery. How do we do about doing that? That's expensive. <clears throat> That's two yeah. upgrades, basically. So two times of us leveling up, we have to put all our points in it into it. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta yeah. click that one off three times. Four. Four? Okay. Yeah. Like I said, it takes every point of two upgrades to do it. Nice. Yep. Now the other thing. Tedious. Tedious. <laughs> um, so I'm going to look for... I'm going to go look to hire a... Uh, a crew of basically cultured thugs, like ones who know how to behave in, you know, high society, but can still, you know, get violent if necessary. I'm sure they exist. Sounds to me like what you're interested in is a dueling school. Sounds good to me. Except the only one I know about is the Red Sashes. And we pretty much destroyed them. <laughs> um, are there any others? I mean, there are, yes. Yes. Okay. That could be our next venture. We could start one. <laughs> um. So yeah, I'll look to you know hire some folks from a dueling school. Then I'll talk to Valeris and see if she has any recommendations. Since I imagine that's who some of her clientele would have to employ if they wanted protection. Okay. Um, so are you looking, dun, 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 where's my chart? You're looking for just an asset, like temporary use of them? Yeah. Cause basically I am looking to actually have, you know, like a housewarming, like an actual official and I'm going to need people who know how to behave. Okay. I want you to know my uh-huh. feelings are still going to be deeply hurt if I'm not invited. If I invite you, you're going to be like you know restricted to certain areas. <laughs> that's how that's going to go. <laughs> I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could actually stand to not invite you. Really? I think I, I have might, to invite I've, you. Yeah. But I might just keep you away from other people. Like. All right. Really. So in terms of tier, I can't have you killing people in a housewarming. That cannot happen. Yeah, in terms sense. of tier, how are you? How are you thinking? Tier three, probably. Three. Okay. Hammers is restricted dish. to the Falcon Room. No. Vesper's great company. So you're tier one, so that's going to be tier plus two. Yep. 
Which means you need to get a crit on this roll. <laughs> well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> or you need to spend a lot of coin. Or you need to spend a lot of coin. That might happen. Um, so roll your cruise tier. Oh, it's a tier roll? Okay. Yep, it's a tier roll. Um, you did uh, use Valeris, though, so that's a bonus die. Four? Yep. So yeah, that's um, standard, which is equal to your tier. Okay, so and then a gold per tier increase. It's two two coin per level. Two. So it's gonna be level. four coin. All right, that's all my coin. What are you trying to do? He's trying to hire pe people to be his friends. I'm hiring <laughs> people who know how to behave in noble society long enough to guard this housewarming I'm going to have. So I needed cultured thugs, basically. Okay. So I'm stealing this NPC, but it, only because his name is so great. Okay. Um, Roth can clave. All right. Impressive. R O T H E. R O E T H. Okay. I guess I don't. I don't know. Hey, hey, hey! Use grace. Oh, yeah, she is a part of the gang, isn't she? Yep, and she's an expert extortionist. She knows how to be around public, and she might get some goose, um, juicy details. Yeah, I'll invite Grace. No, she's, right, you should definitely you know, she, invite She knows her. how to behave. Right. Mm -hmm. Right, she can do that. And those um, other chains, obviously. But yes, Rothkin Claith is a uh, noble. Okay. Um, from the Kinclaith house, household. I'm just spelling um, it how I want to. Um, don't do that. Spell it absolutely correctly every time. I did. It was okay. how I wanted. Oh. Um, yeah, he's a duelist. Sure. Um, he's got a shitty reputation. Okay. Like, no one really likes him. He's the sort of person that kind of looks for trouble. trouble. But he's also a noble, and so his duels are, you know, he demands satisfaction to okay. first blood. I mean, you know, he's not necessarily... He's a not a killer. monster. Right. <laughs> He he's and still Hamish ought to get along great. He's still accepted in noble circles, but he's got, you know, hangers on. He's got a little a little fencing academy. It's not like an official one, but Okay. First blood is for weaklings. That's why they're not gonna talk. First blood is how you know the fight started. <laughs> Should be how you know it ends. The first blood? Yeah. When I What's tear that? your heart out of your body. <laughs> First blood's just foreplay. That, that's probably not the first blood. Right. If I'm quick enough, it is. I mean, there's there's got to be blood going in quick, before you can get it out. Um. So yeah, you you okay. got um, Rothkin Claith and his buddies. Excellent. And he dresses like in all white. That's odd. He's got white gloves and. White silk shirt and Okay. Did you just replace me? <laughs> for this for this event. I mean, <laughs> did you just replace me as your friend? No. Not as his friend. I didn't replace you as my friend. I replaced you but for this definitely event. Definitely as his bodyguard. Because this event, I cannot have people dying in the foyer. <laughs> oh, I'm glad I don't know about I would be very insulted. Very insulted. <laughs> I've always taken care of you. I've taken care of this gang. <laughs> I put down anyone who's ever offended you. <laughs> and some who haven't. But don't you know. chew on your Legos, Chris. You mean, you mean like, I don't know, a whole train full of people? <laughs> Given to the... It wasn't personal. The dead of the... <laughs> I, I still feel bad about that. It wasn't personal. They were right. just in the way. Um... Yeah. And then I talked to, to, you know, yeah, I arrange. I work out with the Libertines and Valerius who, you know, who I should invite and all that. Okay. I trust Valerius. She's my homie. Sure. Um, Edland. Yes. 
What am oh, I doing? I, I, I made yeah. sure Grace is invited. What okay. I am doing is... I am training a stat. Okay. What um, stat is you training? training? Okay. I am going to go speak to the Dwarf Sisters. Can I come with you? Why? Because that's my <laughs> next. That's my next action. Is to train a tune. Yeah. So you're can both I, going to. Train can I come tune? with you? I guess so. I was hoping not to intimidate them, starting out. But yeah. I don't know if I like the like the idea of Hamish being able to mess with spirits. <laughs> so yes. Although it would be funny to see him punch one. Hmm. I gotta figure okay. out how this thurible works, and some other things. The what? So the only thing it says about the Dimmer Sisters is housebound recluses with an occult reputation. Yep. Um. So you're gonna need an introduction to them because they don't really open their door. <laughs> but I, I had started that the last adventure. Right. I, I I don't remember what I had done. I had had I sent somebody there with something for them. Hey, maybe if somebody had posted the adventure. I sent somebody there. With, I sent somebody there with things. Things is very good. They really like your things. Um, but you can get an introduction to them from uh, Finn, if you like. Okay. I will use Finn. Okay. Um, and he'll accompany you. Okay. As well. So Hamish, you get to meet Finn Thale. That's right. That's who I think I was using. A natural philosopher at the university. I believe I personally had written a hand down on my sheet. As... I appreciate natural philosophy. There it is. The strong survive. That that kind of natural philosophy. Um. Uh, yes. Predator prey, that sort of thing. Certainly. That... Certainly. And of course, that nobles are better than lessers because of their superior breeding. You know that sort of natural philosophy. That sort of horseshit. Oh, you didn't, oh, you didn't kill him. <laughs> uh, I, I might. We'll see. I'll He's building up a tunnel. <laughs> listen, listen. You shaved me. I let a comment pass. <laughs> well, you're you're but, showing growth. But, I I appreciate that. But I do turn purple and look a uh, a little um irritated. Okay. <laughs> I mean, he's not like pushing it on you, but it's obvious. From just his talking, you know, that he's how, got... How he feels. <laughs> right. How he feels. And the whole... Na his whole natural philosopher stance. Type of thing. But he's uh, he's fascinated with the, uh, with the research that Edlin's been making. And really thinks that that could revitalize the economy. Yeah. <laughs> um... I'm not going to get into it with him at all if he doesn't, you know, make some sort of pithy comment like the banker did. No, he not really. If he does. He, he's used to running around, you know, with low lives uh, and things he, because he, of... He, he hasn't been murdered yet, so... Because of his particular, you know, interests. So he understands your place and your use. But also understand that he's going to use you. So I also understand to know better that I might break him in half if he gets mouthy. Could could happen. He gets mouthy immediately. Oh no! I break him in <laughs> half. So Hamish is killing all the NPCs <laughs> and <laughs> tell him not to get mouthy. I didn't have to invite you. Um, but yes, you can go visit the Dwemer, Dwem, Dwem, Dimmer sisters. Um, their manservant, of course, opens the door. Their house is, you know, really, really old. It's one of the original 
you know, homes in this area. Okay. Um, the yard is horrifically overgrown. You know, the little wrought iron fence outside is almost rusted completely out. They, it, they've got, you know, lace curtains in the window where you can just see the dust on them, even from outside. Yeah. <laughs> This seems pleasant. Yep. Um, you know, and their manservant opens the door, and, you know, Finn introduces himself, hat in hand. Everybody take your hats off. And well, obviously. <laughs> because a, a gentleman out in public wears a hat. I mean, you gotta wear a hat. Obviously. Obviously. Um... But yes, you know, Finn introduces you as, yeah, these are my, some of my friends. They've got some interesting um, experiments that they're working on and thought that you might want to hear about them. You are introduced to the Dimmer Sisters. They, um, you know, invite you into their parlor. Um, it's pretty much the same as it was outside it's this looks like a room that they barely ever use everything is kind of covered in dust okay everything's really antique even for the time period when antiques didn't really exist because nothing was old enough to be antique <laughs> nothing was old enough to be antique but they've got antiques um and they're two very very old women um, they've got, you know, long silver hair that's kind of unkempt. They're wearing their, um, not nightgowns, but, you know, they don't really get dressed up. They're just sort of wearing old lady shifts. Dressing gowns. Yeah, dressing gowns, I guess. Um, but they're very nice. You know, they call you Deary. Um, they, they, they get you tea. And cakes. Um, you come in. Is it basically the equivalent of um? They ask you to hop in the kettle. <laughs> ask you to hop in the kettle. <laughs> um, oh no, this is just like one of my for normal Friday nights. I right. just like hop in the kettle. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> is this like the equivalent of um? What is it? The what is that fruit cake? Fruit cake. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's it's like it's those. It's those shortbread cookies that aren't any good. Yeah, and, they've had for 20 years. Yeah, they're yep. stale, like 10 yeah. years stale. Right, they're really, really stale. Those Lord of Dane things? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yes, they can answer your questions and um, ask you questions and whatever. You're just training, so did you have any specific questions? or? It's basically, it's just a way... Of, Basically, it starts with, you know, my name is Edlin Wakefield. I was, I am a doctor and a scientist. And recently, I have realized the need to expand into the, it's weird calling it supernatural when it's all well known. Into the occult? Into the occult. Even though that actually sort of kind means of the, same. the same thing. To go, <laughs> to, to, um. To explore in a diff in a new area. Uh huh. So I need a training and understanding of the spiritual spirit spirituality. Oh, okay. Well, they um they can uh, fill you in on ghosts and how those sort of things work. That is not my area of interest. Okay, what's yours, Deary? My area of interest is in um been brought to my attention I mean same sort of thing I'm interested in some of the occults but how do you certain um, activities in a more uh, focused ritual way you'll need to be a little more specific there dearie what uh, sort of activities tantric activities oh they you know look at each other and sort of titter a little. Okay. Uh, also, also, I'm also interested in collecting items of power. So okay. I show them the thermal. Okay. Um, 
they recognize it as some sort of artifact. Oh, right. yes. This seems very powerful. Right. So, you know, those are the kind of conversations. And not just um, not just sex necessarily, Mark, but, you know, activities. Things that you can ritualize. Yeah, yeah. Bloodletting, sex. Hand, hand washing, sure. <laughs> sure. All that. Yeah, okay. They, they're they pretty familiar with that sort of activity. I mean, rituals, not tantric. Right. But, <laughs> but just, yeah, right. Well, back in the day. I mean, you know, they go sky clad and all that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> but, so, you know, way, I'm, it, I'm interested in that. As, um, because of the old madam. Because my character thinks that that is an interesting way to act out his vice. Yeah, yeah. You would have sex with a ghost, don't you? <laughs> I would. <laughs> I mean, my, my thing is... Um, how do you know he has it? Right, how do you know? <laughs> um, if, if there's actual power in that sort of thing, that would that interests is, that interests Hamish. By the okay. way, it does only take Edlin about five minutes to get into, you know, yep, I have found the medical ways to resurrect the dead. Now I need to find a way to put spirits back into their bodies. Okay. They caution you against such things... Because, oh, that leads to terrors, and ghosts have had traumatic experiences, and they, they ne they're never the same when they come back. We already put them in robotic monstrosities, and they already exist as vampires. Yes. This will That's... give them a chance to flesh and blood, so they can experience of life again and not as some kind of creature of the dark or some clunking <clears throat> thing. I shouldn't mock mechanical stuff since I'm also an engineer. I was going to say, you you know an awful lot about it. Is that why you, you, you write it so? <laughs> kind of, yeah. Anyone can build a steampunk contraption. Pshaw! Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. Um, but yeah, you guys can have a, uh, a pleasant conversation over tea and cakes. Sweet. Uh, Sweet. Do we get uh, the roll or what is it again? Uh, you just get the point. So just right? point into res for me resolve? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you just get one XP for an attribute or your playbook. Okay. Um, and then a bonus one if you have that particular crew. Thing. I don't know if you do have it for resolve. We do. No. Okay. Okay. Now, oh, let, let uh, I have one more action I'm going to spin for, which is why I wanted that going. Okay. Uh, Timothy. Uh, I'm going to train a tune also, but instead of going to these old ladies, I am going to go down to the docks and find a um, a dagger Alice Bokur. Okay. The coin just burns its way through Edlin's pockets. Yes. Yeah, yes. Um, yeah, you can do that. I mean, there's there's dagger oil boats that come in, and many of them have bakors on them. In fact, I would say all of them have bakors on them. Excellent. I will buy one a drink and see if he can uh, train me up on a, the attune skill. Okay, well, it's a she. Okay. But There's she'll be, be happy. Some hot sex. Mm. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but yes, um, you know, a drink is good. Also, if you have any tobacco, she would accept that as an offering. Yup. Rum, coconut, and tobacco. Oh. I don't know if they have sugar. I don't you know. people think we you people think this isn't a hell already. There is no sugar. <laughs> right. This is a hell world. <laughs> this is a hell world. No sugar. What okay, does the ice cream that, taste like? Were you saying that point goes into resolve or does that point go into a tune? Um it goes into the XP track, which is for resolve. Okay. 
And when it's full, you can buy a point of a tune. Yep. Okay. Or really whatever you want. Or whatever you want under that. Yeah. Under resolve. Yeah. It'd be a little weird that you went and talked to somebody about a tune and then improved. Consort. But yeah. Consort or whatever. But yeah. yeah. You, you technically can do that. Well, I will invite the Bokor to uh, Vaughn's uh, housewarming party. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, great. <laughs> hey, hey, Shane. Until yeah. Vaughn actually tells me their housewarming party, I'm playing it like I don't even know what's happening. I'll t- I'll, I'm totally going to tell you. You better. I can't wait to introduce her to my wife. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Look, I don't want to have to bear anybody. Also, but... if there, <laughs> if phones existed in this world, your your wife would be calling you right now, wondering where you were. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but they That's don't. Thing that they so. <laughs> so you'll just have to face that when you get home. Yep, yep. Um, so, Hamish, was that your second? Yes, but I have three. So, before we start that, we're at 56. Okay, well, let's uh, take a break then, and we'll do Edlin's last one and Hamish's last one. I'm trying to decide if I want one more, too, but actually, I can't. I spent all my coin. Never mind. No. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, and then we'll uh, we'll do that. Okay. Okay.